Alright. Now we know, don't fuck with Gulags. Don't fuck with Gulags. Just, just stay away. Three star elites at level 13 will fuck your shit up. Good to know. I'm glad this information has been processed. Appropriately. Can't you see I'm busy? I'm carrying, like, way too many effing items. Okay. We must fix that. My bad. Sorry, guys. I didn't mean to, like, MPK you. Sorry. Not my intent. It may have been my intent. My bad. All the things here. All the things here. Nice doing business with you. I've got patience. All the things here. Give me your shit, foo! Okay. Let's see what we got. Small vortex. Part of me wants to go for that, but I also have cheapy wings. And I, I don't want to, like, commit suicide out of boredom. Because Jesus Christ, gathering vortexes hurt, man. Like, I can handle most gathering, but that vortex stuff, you can get, like, three or four before you have to wait two minutes. I almost wish they kind of revamped flying or something. Like, I understand that there may be a limit to it, but in areas like this, you know, that maybe instead of having, like, a minute, you have, like, three minutes in non-combat and, like, one minute in combat or something, so that way this is not just painful to do. What the hell do I know? Alright. So, I've gotten... most of the stuff taken care of. Alright. I'm almost level 14 and I haven't even left Newbie Town yet. Well, Newbie Town 2.0, I guess. One thing I like about the Asmodians versus the, uh versus the Elios that I've noticed so far is that their areas tend to be like a lot, and I mean like a lot more open. You know, it's not, like, I mean, look at this, you know, Verderon is their level 10 area, and I mean, look at that place compared to this one. Verderon is like this, I mean, it's beautiful, but it's super, super tiny. I mean, absolutely just teeny tiny. It's very cramped, whereas this thing is like a very, very open, a wide open space. You know, where the cattle, you know, where the buffalo roam and all that shit. I am the legend here. You must exterminate the foul pest and emerge from the disc. Well, that was a riveting cutscene. Okay. Do I have enough wing juice? Probably not. So here's what's gonna happen. I'm probably gonna nuke these things from afar. Well, it's about as far as far from afar as I can get. Yeah, I I, I hear you. I hear you. Believe me. Oh, I'm so glad I I, I went here. Please don't kill me. Thank you, sweet baby Jeebus. Okay. Where? Oh, where? Ah, oh, shit, you're like way the fuck out there, aren't you? Kill it, kill it, kill it! Oh, I'm about to die! Oh no! There you go. That was close. Way closer than it needed to be. 
But I survived, so I totally planned that shit out. Yep. And don't you forget. Yeah. <laughs> And now here come But yeah, for whatever it's worth you guys listening, I tend not to stream too often. I don't stream like every day. I just don't have the stamina or the sanity to do it. But usually when I stream, I tend to stream for like several hours at a time because when I get a chance to sit down, I want to play a lot of something at once because I don't have the chance to really, you know multitask is the way that I used to unfortunately. Alrighty. And Whee! it's like a roller coaster where you may die. Yoop. 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 What do you want? The ion spins are not as good as the uh what is the difference? Okay, can anybody in chat tell me the difference between these legendary brogans? Like, should I pick one over the other? They look pretty much exactly the same. Except one gives me... Gives me an enmity boost. Gives me a hate boost. This one does not give me a hate boost. It actually reduces my enmity. So I don't, like, are... Are chanters, like, off tanks or something? Like, how does this... Because, I mean, to be completely honest, I kind of want just the raw stats, to be truthful, because I don't need concentration. I'm not going to be casting anything on melee. So I want the raw stats, don't I? I don't understand the things with the stuff. Do they look any different? No? Ah, fuck it. I'll just take the raw MP. MP is meaningless right now. Yay! I ding. Grats to me. Woo woo. Yes. Give me that frozen staff. Show me what you're working with. Okay. All right. Now. Scribbler is like way the balls. Boogumon. Yep, they're like way the hell underneath here, in the underground prison, if I recall. What? I didn't kill all ten? Okay. Well, that's a problem that has to be rectified. Like, in the oh, that's right, I was going to kill the last two and then I decided to get all trolly and I got my ass killed. I remember now. Shield Mantra. Crashing Strikes. That Hollowed Strike. That is this, right? Yes. Infernal Blaze. Okay. Neato. Alright. God damn it, I love the fact that that's a skill. I love that that's its own skill now. I genuinely just adore the hell out of that. It's amazing that by them untying that and making it its own thing, it's it, it's already made Chanter leveling so much better than it was before. Ah, ba -bash -ba. Buttons. How do they work? It's made things so much better than it was before. It's incredible. Yoop. 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 Ion spins are not as good as wild spins. They kind of... They don't really look as smooth and silky and natural. They're just kind of like... They look like they've been harnessed into something and they're just rotating in a circle. But again, I'm weird and I notice that kind of shit. Now. I know I can't fly down here. So I'm going to glide my ass. I also notice one little tiny detail that whenever I leave a, uh, a flying zone, it's like the gravity very, very subtly changes. 
I don't know why I noticed that, but I do. Nice to meet you. Boo-boo-bon. Or moo-moo-bon. Moo-moo-bon. Sounds like a brand of, um, bonbons. Moo-moo-bon. What want? What want? Now that's like way the hell up far, up far there, there. It's way the hell up, uh, way the hell up above here. So I've done this little dungeon reno, and then I can head back up top. I can turn in a couple of these quests, quest assistances. I can try to sell some of this shit. Like I mean, I have these things here. I should probably put them. Like I don't really use, I'm use level sixty or below. The thing that sucks about the, uh, about the girl that I'm deleting is that instead of these Burden's amulets, there were ones that were called, like, Lotus amulets, where instead of getting 50%, it was something like 20%, something not that great. She has, like, 40 of them. Because for some reason I was a dumbass and I applied all of it onto my one character instead of, like, all of my Legion of Alts. So she ended up with, like, 45 of these things that I can't possibly use because you can only use them, like, once every 10 hours. In that case, I already had, like, 30 of the, uh, Burdens am amulets for some reason, beyond my understanding. Mowers were, okay. I don't need match boost. Okay. Now. Flippity flap, Lava Knight. Need to kill these? Well, I gotta turn it in. Yeah, I know, I had, like, 45 of them. I mean, granted, this was from, like, 2009. Yeah, I know, but... Nothing, I mean, I wasn't going to use them anyway, so... Make this quick. Okie dokie, Lava Knight is killed. Talk to this dude. Taco Nightmare. I admit that's a pretty sweet, Not too much sun, that's I pretty sweet game. I don't know why it's a pretty sweet name, but it, it's pretty effing cool. I can appreciate it. Okay. Now, sell shit that I do not require. Drop things off into my bank. There are a lot of people who are returning players, apparently. I think that's a good sign. I would hope in any case. Now... There's the warehouse manager. I just realized that's a giant arrow, like, floating in a circle. What do you want? Why do I have one of these in my account warehouse? Because I'm pretty sure these are only supposed to be held for a server. And I know I didn't have anything on this server. That's interesting. All right. No, mm, pop another one. Now, I'm not going to need more Heim. I'll keep the pandemonium one because why not? I'm going to sell the bandages. Because I, I gen- well, I don't really need to freaking sell the bandages. I can probably just trash them, but damn it, I want I that, like, 30 off. Kina. 52 Kina, whatever. Sorry, Silver Necklace. You are not long for this world. Can I sell you something? Now... Why do you have eight things up there, huh? These probably aren't really worth putting up in the classic sense, but I'm going to anyway. I'd like me some money. That is worth zilch. 
wow, these are worth these aren't worth shit on this server. In Israel, they're worth something. Not a lot, but something. I'm not liking to use them. Really? Oh, Jesus. Oh, every time, every time. Thank you, Kurashi, for the follow. Jesus Christ. Oh. I actually made legit have to change that follow sound. Like, I know I did that basically just to troll myself, but it's working. It's working a little bit too well because it makes me jump every time I hear it. Because every time I hear it, I'm looking at something else, and then I hear that sound, and my instinct is, oh my god, I'm going to die. I need to run. But that's kind of the idea. So, I'm going to... Con thank you for letting me troll... Thank you for giving me the opportunity to troll myself, Kirashi. I appreciate it. Now, what in God's name... Waking in school. I actually don't need that. So, bye-bye. We'll do this. There we go. Uh, looks like I'm out of all the quests here, so I move on to, whoop, this way. I move over this way, and that way. I'm glad you enjoyed that, and I'm, I'm glad you found enjoyment in that, because that scared the shit out of me. And I swear to God, I'm going to have to, like, download Moobot and make a command that, or Nightbot, and then make a command that explains what that god-awful sound is. Because it's intended to be god-awful, it's the uh, aggro sound from, um... Whoa. It's the aggro sound from Final Fantasy XI, uh, from the goblin monster. And it was intended to be one of those sounds where it was like, you know you're near death, you're trying to hide, you're trying to keep away, because goblins aggro to, like, fucking everything, man. They aggro to sight, they aggro to sound, they aggro to smell, you know, and they aggro to low oh, fuck. Well, I'm dead. Yep, there we go. That's what I get for trying to be cheeky. Again. You know what? I'm just gonna take the path. There's no point in me trying to fly over the mountain. I mean, there's nothing stopping me from doing it, apparently, except for the fact that I don't know how to aim and I just died instantly. Ugh. Yeah. I know how to play video games. Oh, one more thing. I wanted to grab you guys. The Herb McDoobers. General store, are you over here? That's swords and boards, I don't care about you. General merchant, where the hell are you? You over here? You're the general merchant? You're apothecary. The fuck is the general? Mm, whatever. Oh, believe you me, I am all too acutely aware of the fact that I don't have much flight time left. For reasons you do not wish to know about. Nope. Okay. Trade broker. Swords and boards. Swords and boards. Is it this? Is that the... Please don't tell me I... Yep, I'm dumb. That's cool. Ran right past it going, Where is the merchant? Derp the frickin' her. All right, please take your time. Good to know that they're cheap as shit, though. I don't intend please to use these very often, but I probably might use them for mana purposes. Or I guess they actually call them NP in this one. See out of the play, or something. So yeah. Don't fly over the, the, the thingy, the mountain. The only thing that awaits you on the other side is death, even though I've clearly freaking done it before. And I can't tell you how much I actually want to do it again, just to prove the fact that it can be done, because I've done it a hundred times before, but... 
it's not worth it. It's just not worth it. Bouncy. Besides, I've kind of forgotten what this cave looks like anyway. That's what she said, I think. You aggro? No. Okay, good. Oh. So this is what I missed by flying over. Absolutely nothing. Cool. Okay. Where? Why am I getting all chuggy chuggy? What's up with you with that, man? Warm yourself by the fire. What happens? I bring a message. You can fucking skippy. Warm yourself by the fire. The mumus should have filled the packets with Adela by now. Burn them. Burn them all. Okie dokie. Alrighty then, no frills quills. Got it. You don't have issues to speak of? Oh, that's cool. They, they're gonna... Well, whatever. It'll be... Whatever, I'll just have more Odella powder than I know what to do with. It's all good. In thine hood. Take care. Ion shade protects us. Any more quests that I need to be made aware of? All right. So I'm just going to pop, 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 pop. Pop. And... Funny! There's a way to, like, shrink this, isn't there? Okay. Can I do that? Alright. Can you, like... Get on my bark and wave, please. Oh, it's it's covered behind. It's covered behind that, but that's not that bad. Luckily enough, some random person that showed me how to do that, and I was like, oh, that's neat. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. That makes things a lot easier than having to constantly look at the map. You guys? No. Okay, good. You do not aggro, which means I can pick pretty Tykel. Tykel? Why did you put a banner for this site? Massive income for streamers. Why do I have a feeling that that's spam? I'd rather not select that personally. I don't want my social security information stolen. Thank you, sir. Thank you, though. You may have to add that in. No links. Unless asked for. Oop, okay. Should have seen that one coming. Okie dokie, give me that iron. Everybody needs a little bit of iron, you're gonna be iron deficient, you're gonna be tired, you're gonna fall asleep a lot. You don't want that happening. Now. Now 
let's see here. I'm gonna have to get used to the fact that that's down in a corner like that. What other classes do I play? Well, I mean, I've gotten all the classes to, like, level 12, 13-ish, but given the fact that they've overhauled so much of it, I can't really say for certain what's what. Like, I've gotten a Templar to, like, level 25. I got a Ranger to, like, level 20. Uh, you know, I got, I think, a Sorcerer to, like, level 20, 25. But, I mean, this was, like, way back in the day, back in, like, 2009. So I'm sure the things have changed, and especially since this expansion, update, whatever came through, changed so much of it that whatever I learned was going to be completely irrelevant at this point anyway. However, you know... But that's one of the nice things about this, is that I can kind of, you know, become acquainted with the new classes as they stand, rather than the way that they were, and actually get a feel for what I will like and what I don't like. As it is right now, I actually really like how they've changed um, how they've really changed the Chanter to be more, more active. I mean, because up until, like, the mid-20s when I was leveling her the last few times, because I've, I've leveled a Chanter up to, like, 42, and then I leveled one up to 45, and then I'm going to level one up to, like, 56. I tried the game a few times, but, um, you know, it wasn't until, like, the mid-20s that you really had enough combos or abilities going that it felt like you were really, like, you know, a melee class the way they were talking about. You felt like you were just kind of smacking something with a stick a couple of times and then throwing spells in between it because you didn't really have, like, you know, much else to go on, you know what I mean? But now that you actually have, I mean, I have a three-chain skill, you know, at level 13, which is pretty impressive. So far, my favorite class is the Chanter. It's, that's the classes I tend to gravitate to. Um, I'm, I'm a fan of the whole, like, jack-of-all-trades type class. I'm usually, I normally gravitate toward classes that can heal, that can be self-sustainable, you know what I mean? There are other people that really love glass cannons, there are other people that really love tanks, or, you know, like, the, the hot and dot type thing. I'm more the type that likes to, you know, stay alive at all costs, you know what I mean? I don't mind being kind of shitty at everything, so long as I'm good enough at everything that I can kind of, like, change my playstyle on the fly, depending upon the situation. You know, if I need to heal, I can try to jump in and heal. You know what I mean? If I need to do damage, you know, I can clearly do damage. I can buff. I can debuff. Stuff like that. I love that kind of stuff. Now, granted, when I played this back in, like, 2009, chanters were effectively considered, like, shitty clerics because something about their DPS wasn't good enough to actually make them, you know, wanted in groups or some such. It's been a while. I just remember being asked to heal predominantly, if not exclusively. Give me that loot. But uh, so far, I've, but you know, so far, having played the classes to like level 10, 15, 20, that's not really as representative as it could be, but I haven't really disliked the class yet, which is impressive because there are usually classes. In, in a lot of MMOs and a lot of games where I'm just like, yeah, I'm, I'm not really feeling this. But I, I like the classes so far. They all kind of have their own, their own flavor. You know what I mean? The tank class is tanky, but it doesn't, you know, like Templars, it's tanky. It's a tank class. It feels very tanky. It doesn't feel super strong, like he doesn't do a lot of damage, but they don't feel weak either. You know what I mean? They just, you know, they're tanky. You know what I mean? They don't hit super hard. But they can, they can put out the pain. I mean, I only got one like 25. But, you know, I mean, they can put out some serious pain if they get the right procs, you know, if they get, you know what I mean? Like, and it, and it, from what I've seen so far, it actually rewards having defensive skills, you know what I mean? If you get a shield proc or, you know, if you dodge or if you parry, you get extra skills that help you do more damage or help you mitigate more damage. It actually feels like you're being rewarded for playing more defensive than if you were to just switch to a great sword and beat the shit out of stuff, which is also, you know, a viable way to level. I've done that too. I kind of switch back and forth between them and the great sword, you know, and when you have a Templar with a great sword, they actually do, like I said, I've only up to level like 25, but up to level 25, you know, a Templar with a great sword can put out a pretty damn good amount of damage, you know. The sword skills are actually pretty damn powerful, 
but I prefer doing sword and board because I have access to more skills. I'm not using the same three over and over again. You know, I can rely on procs. It's more, it's more interesting. It's more engaging to me. You know, and gladiators are the big flashy, I'm going to beat you over the stick with a, you know, beat you over the head with a gigantic uh, weapon of death. You know, um, rangers are the kiters. You know what I mean? They're the really, um, what am I trying to say? They're the the crafty ones, you know what I mean? They're the kiters. They're the ones that you got to be careful with. They're the ones that can put down a lot of pain but can kind of like fold like toilet paper if they can't kite well enough. Same thing with sorcerers, but they kind of... I think they do a lot more burst damage than rangers do, maybe. I don't know. Um, you know, spirit masters are just like... <laughs> oh, spirit masters, man. They're, uh... They're an interesting class to play. I can appreciate it, but they're an interesting class to play. And the ones I don't really have too much experience on are like the Technist, Aether Tech, stuff like that, because I didn't get any of those to like level 20, you know, because they're newer classes. I only got those to like 12 or 13. Basically, I only got them out of the starting areas. And from what I see, I thought, you know, I originally thought Muse was supposed to be just like a support class, support off healing thing, but, you know, up to, like, level 12 or 13, you know, those, those suckers put out some, they can put out some good damage. I was really, like, genuinely impressed by just how much damage they could do with a fucking harp. 